In this clip, I answer a question about whether you should take your Postgres database and migrate it into a container. Hun, I've been getting told a lot recently not to worry about getting the DB Postgres running in a Docker container, that it may be better to keep the DB on bare metal, thoughts, especially with replication. Um, okay, so if you're running your DBs today on bare metal and they're working fine, then you got to ask yourself, are you containerizing for just because it seems cool or are you containerizing for a specific reason to gain something you need, right? Um, databases are probably, they run great in containers. I should say that out the gate. Lots of containers are running databases. I run all my databases in containers when I have to. The option I prefer is to just use the cloud hosting of the databases themselves. In other words, if it's on AWS and I can use RDS for their own solution, I'd rather do that. I'd rather not have to run and maintain my own database servers because most of us are not full-time DBAs. The cloud engineers that run the cloud tend to be better DBAs than we are. So I always prefer running my databases in cloud stuff, right? That being said, if you, this is just a personal project or if you're not allowed to do that or if you have very, very specific reasons not to, price should not be one of them because I, in most cases, can clearly argue that it's going to be cheaper for you to host that on their storage in their environment because you're going to get automatic redundancy. You're going to get better logging and monitoring out of it, out of the gate. And otherwise you'd have to do all that yourself. And if you're going to do all that yourself, you're probably more expensive than the cloud storage itself. <laughs> so just the hosting itself may be more expensive than a bare metal server, but you cost something to the, to the organization and you managing all this stuff yourself costs something. So I would much better rather get my time back to work on other things that maybe the cloud doesn't do great for me. And one of the things they can do well is databases. So that being said, if you need to run your databases, a database in bare metal and a database on that same bare metal in a container will not be any difference in performance. There is, um, with, with the exception of a very few rare cases in the way that maybe your volumes work, and as long as you're properly storing your database logs and uh, in volumes themselves, and assuming that that volume is on the same storage that you had in the bare metal case, you know, because obviously storage IO would change if you moved the file somewhere else, then everything will be the same. There is no layer of emulation or delay or some sort of shim in the middle of a container. It's bare metal. It's running on the host OS, right? So if that host OS and that host um, uh, kernel are on bare metal, then it's going to get bare metal performance. And I can say this with confidence because I did this. In fact, over on my Docker resources page, if you search HPE, HPE, there's a white paper that I did a couple of years ago with Docker and Hewlett Packard, HPE, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, I think is what that stands for. And we did a MySQL performance across three different scenarios using databases one like one database, one database engine in a VM, and then multiple VMs on a single host, right? Which is the cloud model. Most people, that's the model they do, the traditional model. Or having a few VMs with many containers all running a separate MySQL instance. So that means fewer OSs, but the same number of overall MySQL engines. Or running that same number of MySQL engines on bare metal in containers without any virtualization. Right, So we did three different models that were most likely the models that you would use as you move from traditional VMs to containers. And without a doubt, bare metal wins hands down. It wins in terms of performance. It wins in terms of management overhead because you only have one OS now instead of potentially eight or more OSs, depending on how many MySQL VMs you create. It also saves you lots of space and memory resources because you don't have to run each OS and use you know gigs of RAM just to run the operating systems over and over again, right? So if you think about efficiency, it was way better on my, uh, bare metal. That's containers running in bare metal. If I had to run that database on bare metal without a container, then I probably wouldn't want to run multiple database engines on that same OS, right? So now if you're not using containers on bare metal, you must either one need 
all the resources of that one physical machine, right? So maybe it gets a, it's a really large database. Or you're just not able to fully utilize the resources of it because you're not able to stack up, you know, five different MySQL instances all in the same bare metal. So that's the advantage I see in containers is it allows you to discreetly isolate separate database engines all in the same bare metal. And why not? Why not do that if you have access to bare metal and you're willing to do that? So I would not go running and putting Postgres into containers just because I thought it would cool was cool. I would definitely come up with a list of pros and cons. And a pro is it's isolated. You can add more things to it, like more containers, and you don't have to worry about them conflicting with each other. And But if your database is going to have dedicated hardware and it's not going to have any sharing of resources, then maybe the container isn't necessary. Maybe you can get away with that. Now, eventually... Everything you're, you have, once they're all in containers, you're going to wish that everything else was in containers too, right? You're going to have all your management tools looking for containers. So there's pros and cons there, right? I wouldn't just go running into the container land, but I certainly would not say that taking something from an OS and then putting it in a container on that OS, to me, doesn't usually change the performance at all. It, it's really the same process on the same OS. It's just has a security boundary around it now that limits its resource access potentially, and it limits its uh, ability to do other things on the machine, right? All right, hopefully that helps uh, narrow down, but that's a great question about databases. And if you're interested more, definitely go check out, there's a couple of white papers there on my Docker page and at brettfisher.com slash Docker. And you can read about bare metal performance versus VM performance for databases. Thanks for watching. You can click subscribe and the notification bell to get an alert when I go live so you can join and ask your DevOps and Docker questions. You can watch some of my other videos over there and you can do what I'm about to do and just go take a nap.